before this video starts, we're gonna give a huge shout out to Bandai Namco for sending me this game to review. It means a lot. Enjoy the video. Alright, what's up, guys? Blast Jr. Origin back in our video. In this video, we are reviewing Dragon Ball Fighters for the Nintendo Switch. I'm so happy this game was ported from other consoles to the Switch, so I'll give you my opinions on it. First, let's start off with the online. The online feels great. You could do three versus three across the entire world, and it fits perfectly with the concept of the Switch. You could take it on the go in handheld, or even playing your big screen in docked. There could be some lag at times, but I recommend getting a LAN adapter. You can find this on Amazon or like GameStop for like $10. Definitely recommend to have the best Wi-Fi experience. Sometimes the make lag could be the other player's connection, or maybe yours. I just recommend getting a LAN adapter. Also, you could play with friends super easily. I love playing with friends. I made a video with the Beta, you can play with friends perfectly. Now with the graphics at full 1080 60 docked and 720 handheld, it looks amazing just like on other consoles like PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. This port was really good with the graphics, surprisingly since the Nintendo Switch is a bit lower on the graphical side. The character models are a bit low resolution but in mid game is very hard to tell. Everything looks perfect on your big screen to the little tablet. And for the audio, you can have the audio in Japanese sub or English dub with uh, the sound effects being perfectly leveled with the voices, it's not too loud, it's the perfect audio. The music in this game is honestly incredible, there's so many bangers I would even play outside of the game. For controls, the controls are really nice. I recommend playing with the pro controller if you just have the joy cons with the joy con grip it's perfectly fine you just hard to get used to but if you have a pro controller i would definitely recommend that over the joy cons the joy cons button are a bit more closer together and it's in a weird shape to play in such an intense fighting game with the pro controller feels right on handheld mode with the two joy cons it feels really good your hands may start to cramp since it's such an like an intense game but you definitely get used to it over time since this is on the nintendo switch you can play handheld mode with just a single joy con up to six players to play this game now that's really cool on party mode playing with a joy con is actually really good since you can do simple combos with just a one to two button clicks and honestly all the controls you need is in a single joy con but if you're playing on a big screen tv definitely recommend the pro controller i am playing with the pro controller and i couldn't like it any better so if you're a bit newer to the game there's simple controls i really played in the beginning but i really like it just the basic standard controls but you can also try out simple the character roster, this is what I really enjoy. They have a great range of characters from Z to Super, some of my favorites, with 4 packs of DLC. Hopefully we can get some more kid DLC in the future, maybe in Bandai. What I really love about this game is like the fan service. Each special attack or even little jab attacks all pulled straight from the anime. All the characters have so many references and then when you start in the game, the two characters are like have an interaction you can never seen before and it fits so well. I love that. Then even with the Z stamps, a ton of references references from the anime, the story, there's so many other features in the game I like like party mode, training mode, the entire story, then story is an entirely different topic, I would probably cover on my Twitch account, so if you want to see me stream Dragon Ball Fighters online slash the story mode, definitely follow me on Twitch, I'm going to have full cover of that. Now for my overall view, I think this game is perfect for Nintendo Switch with the on the go concept, there's also another game, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 that's on the Switch, but I recommend getting fighters over that, you can find Xenoverse for around $30 pre-owned at GameStop, but this game is out of this world. It's very relevant in the competitive esports scene, and for Nintendo Switch, you have to get it. For a full $60, I think content's fully worth with a very decently sized story mode, and the online competitive play is very replayable. If you're a fan of anime or just a hardcore Dragon Ball fan, this is perfect. I love the flashbacks. If you watch the anime, you're like, yo, no way they did that. It's just so good. The character interactions, the models, the graphics, everything about it. All right, guys, we have this video here. Thank you so much, Bandai and Namco, once again, for sending me this game to do a review on. It was an honor. Can you get 15 likes on this video? Let's see. Subscribe, like the video, and peace. Ladies, stay awesome.